بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته so hopefully you are all good and today we will talk about these uh, quantifiers uh, and these what are the quantifiers basically you have to uh, keep in mind that all the words that indicate any amount or quantity so these two words you have to remember any amount or quantity uh, they are representing these these are called as quantifiers examples are given here and a list is also given here like all enough much both little so all these these are the quantifiers so a tip is there uh, words of quantity like quantifiers can act as determiners and precede a noun like all some several much and after that the, a noun will be there uh, this is the test you have to test yourself what you have learned and uh, you have to underline the quantifiers in each sentence is below then 15.2 is there uh, it's again telling all the all the determiners like if it is an article a and the demonstrative this that these those possessive your hours etc possessive proper noun or quantifier that is every sum like this list is given here you can get an idea from this list uh, in this way you have to complete this exercise 15.3 uh, uh, is there again it's the same way so that's the end and answer keys are here uh, so again yes uh, this is the new unit uh, unit number four that we have to start today and these are the adjectives uh, first of all identify adjectives uh, the adjective it is a word that refers to a characteristics of a noun uh, you already know what is a noun and any word that is describing the characteristic of a noun it is called as adjective okay so tip is there um, uh, so what you have to do is if a word is there and you are a bit confused whether it is a noun or it is an adjective or it's a verb just you have to add the the then you have to put that specific word then you have to write a noun like the boy this is the noun here and if you look at these examples, uh, these sentences are here. First of all, we can say the brilliant boy, the embarrassed boy, okay, the delightful boy. So all these underlined words, these are the adjectives. But we can't say the very boy, the a boy, the talk boy, okay. All these, this, this steric is there. It means grammatically these are not correct, okay. Uh, so 16.1 is there which of the following words are adjectives and you can uh, do the same like you can uh, do this trick the dash boy okay uh, like these words are here uh, like can we say uh, the yellow shirt yes or no yes so it will be the adjective uh, again can we say the is notebook no so it is not an adjective uh, so this is the easy way uh, if you are uh, have some confusion usually these are quite easy you can get an idea when you know the meanings of all these words but still some words are there you are a bit confused whether it is uh, an adjective or it's a noun or it's a verb then this is the idea or this is the trick that you can uh, use 16.2 is there uh, here you have to underline the adjectives in the sentences below in each case the adjective will be between the and a noun so a sentence may have more than one adjectives you have to keep in mind like uh, this example is given here uh, she has been the strong leader of his this company for years okay the strong leader the strong leader uh, so leader that is the noun uh, for that reason we can easily guess that strong that is the adjective uh, the same trick you can use uh, while solving all these answers and uh, yes a good way to just a word adjective is to see if it can be placed between the and noun but it doesn't mean that that's the only place of an adjective uh, you don't have to apply this rule everywhere everywhere uh, sometimes uh, like look at this uh, here these examples he is a tall boy okay i'll look at here the tall boy so again uh, this is the tall boy the tall it's also the adjective it's also the adjective here uh, so please uh, keep in mind all these rules and then test yourself is 16.3 is there uh, you can uh, read all this from the book and i am just giving you a gist and or an idea uh, what you have to do 
uh, this success um, yes yeah, quite easy okay so 16.4 is there underline the adjective in each of the sentences below some of the nouns will be modified by more than one adjectives like chi at all the crisp crunchy chips crisp and crunchy both of the these these are the adjectives uh, okay 16.5 is there in each of the sentence below decide if the underlined words are functioning as nouns or adjectives uh, it's an important exercise and you have to make it sure sometimes the same word is there sometimes it is used as an adjective sometimes it is used as a noun you have to clarify you have to take it into my taking uh, take or you have to read the whole sentence then you have to get an idea in which context that is used okay uh, so practice is also given 16.6 uh, is there in each of the sentences below decide if the underlying words are functioning as nouns verbs or adjectives so three points you have to keep in mind first of all it may be a noun it may be a verb or it can be an adjective okay like uh, jail cell uh, this is the adjective uh, all of the words are underlined and please do it yourself do not look at the answers first to the exercise try your level best read this topic again or, or uh, please listen to this video again so that you can get a clear idea of all these words uh, 16.7 is there uh, in each of the sentences below identify the word category of each word in each sentence like uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's very interesting like if the the is the determiner instructor that is the noun answered that is a verb her that is the determiner it shows the position unspoken this is the adjective question that is the noun okay so basically uh, you have to exercise or you have to remember all the rules that we have covered till now and then you can solve these exercises these are really uh, very interesting uh, maybe you can be a bit confused about some words but just think about the word keep in mind the meaning of uh, these sentences then it will be very easy to do so and only these sentences are given here but you can take any of the sentence either from a book or from a newspaper and you can just analyze all those sentences and tell uh, what's the category of the words uh, that are described in those sentences uh, some more practices there so basically these are the answer keys and you don't have to look at the answer keys before doing all the exercises uh, so thank you very much and inshallah uh, we will be again here with a new video with a new lecture uh, stay blessed always and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh